so in the event something happens that uh, that the association for a reason outside of their control needs funds that have been earmarked for reserve components, um, a board can borrow from their reserve. Um, but there's a process for that. So you can't just, it's not just money that you can go and grab um, at any given moment. There's a process. So why don't you outline yeah, that process, Gary? Yeah. Uh, and there's a process put in place because legislatures want that money protected for the purpose that it was given uh, in the assessments. It was given for those reserve components. So you can't just use it as a slush fund to pull money out for operating things or some capital expenditure that you want to do outside of that. So, But if you're in a bind and you need to borrow from reserves, the process would be uh, to make a decision as a board. Um, uh, you can you want to do that in a board meeting. It can be a motion, but I, I think a, a resolution also is good because usually resolutions uh, give more detail. They give you the the process uh, whereby the board is making that decision and why they're making that decision. So that's helpful. You want it recorded in the minutes, and you also want to not only have the decision to borrow the funds, but but even uh, s some level of disclosure on how those funds are going to get paid back to the reserve, because you can't, again, just take it and not pay it back. So um, that would be the process. And then on a yearly basis, you, typically you're supposed to pay it back within a year. Uh, that can be extended, but you want to disclose that to the whole membership so that they know, one, that you've taken funds and borrowed them from the reserve, how you're going to pay them back, and then disclosures about that process on at least a yearly basis. So it's possible, but go through the process. And again, try to avoid it by really properly funding your association. And uh, that can happen where you know, boards want to keep the assessment low, so they, you know, if everything goes just right, this is how much it'll be, but it never goes just right. So then, you know, uh, we, we had one association that was behind just on the water bill, $10,000 in a year. Um, so that can really wreak havoc and cause the, uh, those funds to need to be borrowed to cover those expenses. Fund it properly, you don't run into that problem. Mm -hmm.